Alright guys, so I thought as a bonus round I would play Undertale and try to beat Sans. Um, I'm just going to play him and continue my little drinking game. This is immediately after a whole Halloween special uh, for, Meg for the Mega Man Random Boss Rush. Um, let me read this. I haven't read this in a while. Man, I'm not interested anymore. You won't have a bad time. Because <laughs> if you take another step forward, you are really not going to like what happens next. Well, sorry, old lady. That's why I never make promises. Alright. Like <laughs> this guy. So I'm only going to take a shot for each two times I lose. Oh my god, I forgot just how tough and how demanding this boss fight is. Definitely underestimated it. But I think I can react to everything. Even though it's been so long, I should be able to react to what he's doing and go, oh, it's this. And this is how I don't take any damage from it. Yeah, this should be the varying house. I don't even think I'm going to fail against him that much. I think I'm just going to beat him pretty quickly. But we will see if this becomes a big, big deal. And if I get to explain everything about me and Undertale. I really want to focus on this first try. Man, playing without lag is <laughs> like my first time fighting it on the laptop. So just like, man, yeah. Like, everything's going great. Yeah, this seems just so easy. Like, I think it's like I already know what to do with each turn. So I haven't taken damage in a while. Don't let me first time you, Sans. Don't let me first time you. I'm, I was about to say, I'm getting that perfect for not doing that for a long time. Like, that took a lot of practice for me to get. I think the rest of these turns take a lot of practice. Man, yeah, this is just, uh... God damn it. Not... My reaction time was not that great. There. Alright. Oh, man, this is usually when I take the shot. <laughs> if I was playing them. On another day. Woo, buddy! Buddy, I forgot you do this. Okay. But now I know what you're doing, and I know exactly what I should be looking for. Oh, shoot. This is what's going to get me. If I'm drunk, these are going to be much tougher, right? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, get through pretty easily. Man, just... Gut reaction. I fought him so much. I could just gut reaction these and just go, what? This is happening? <laughs> and then my muscle memory just takes over. Let's see him moves I, I wouldn't even be able to remember he had off the top of my head. And I'm just like, oh, yeah, do this. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much why I don't think it'll take me that long to, uh, to beat him. 
But that's because the early game is the... Ouch. No, that is tough for when you're trying. The early game is the toughest part. But the later half, you're, you, I take guaranteed damage. So I don't do the thing where I swift through and I don't take any damage each turn. Because so I never figured out how to do that. So I just take it until I get to one. Uh, I don't think I'm going to die here. But I am. Okay. All that confidence. Dun, 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 dun. I miss the song. <laughs> Despite how... Uh, how salty I usually am when I hear it. Okay. I'm gonna play this next one much more wax. Uh, let me bring up something real quick. I'm just gonna type over here how many times I've lost. So that's one. I'm over here trying to hit the speed button. I mean, Sans counts for you. I forget when he stops counting, though. You look frustrated about something. I guess I'm pretty good at my job, huh? Whatever. So the first time I ever seen it, yeah, it was something like that. The first scene went about like that. The first time I ever seen it, before I even played Undertow, he said, like, the birds are singing, and he got the kids like you, and he just slammed the the uh, the player into the ground and did all of that. And I always saw that as a, as to him, I always saw, like, he's just wearing a robe, and he went downstairs for some milk, and then he sees you. And you're there for some reason, you know, some important reason. But to him, you're just a fly on a wall. So he just sits there and he's like, oh, you know, and you're sentient, so he can talk to you. And so he's like, oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to take you off guard and I'm just going to swat you with a fly swatter. And then when you live from that, he's like, oh, shit, like, you're, you're stronger than you appear. So I'm going to actually try to fight you. I've already lost this one, though, because I was taken way by surprise by that bit he uh he didn't even get to the kids like you god damn it yes yeah, so i'm using this program a little bit differently like, I don't have it just recording my entire screen, because I cannot full screen the, this, this, uh, Undertale thing here. Which kind of sucks. I wish I could. Because I'd rather play it full screen than small screen. Like, after playing all of that Mega Man full screen, I'm like, you know what, I'm getting kind of used to that now. I still got that, like I can just jump at the beginning and I know the physics well enough that I'm not gonna get hit. Like wow. Not something I'd guess I'd have. Mmm, jumping jacks is what I call these. I fell. This should be oh the escalator. I don't know why I call it an escalator, but that's what I call it. And then it's varying hops. And then he should try to spare me. Since I know I'm going to lose, I'm going to take my shot right here, right now. No, it's got to be with the music. Hold up. you got to put the music on. Press play on that stereo. There we go. A shot to you, my old friend. Oh, man. Last time you caught me by surprise with that jumping jacks, alright. 
So, like, if you're good at jumping jacks, you should beat him. You should beat him. Just get good at jumping jacks. Every That's, like, the hardest thing. That's the hardest thing. You should also get really good at this part. So, if you're good at jumping jacks, and then you're good at these two parts here, you should not lose to him. Woo! And also, I never heal when I play Undertale. I have never healed in this game, <laughs> ever. Uh, I would just take my L's where they're at and then figure them out. No, oh, I almost was too late. And so, like, to me, it's just natural to play and never go to item. Uh, but some people may be watching and going, like, why aren't you healing? called these, what is these, the wall slams, and then he has like, I call it the wall slam, I forget what I called the second one, but I know I called the third one the abusive wall slam, and that's the one that I'm really not ready for, like, that can still beat me to this day, and if I lose there, then it's like, you know, I don't really take it to heart, like, I should've. Plus there. This is Bone Sandwich. I had an Undertale video where I kind of explained a lot of the terms and what I called them. This should be GT, so this should be the third time he's trying to do this to me. GT is pretty hard. I call it Warp Time, and then it's Warp Time Z, Warp Time GT after the Dragon Ball series. Um, yeah, and this is that's the abusive. See, you gotta be really good. To be really good in, in order to get that. Oh, I'm calculating my shots. Um, so yeah, the beginning part is always the hardest part for me. That's the part where you can make the most mistakes. Okay, so this time, let's just get to the battle. So I don't have any early game Johns. Oh my god, it's Sans! He was behind the pillar the whole time! Twice in a row. How about you don't cheat and just skip your lines like you're supposed to? Yeah, just ready and then let's go. There we go, sir. Now you're about to get that ass kicked. You might get one shotted now. Let me move this mouse out of the way. Let me get my desk all nice and comfortable over here. Alright, so the first turn, the intro, I call that turn zero. The intro is when he tries to kill you at the beginning, when he tries to swat you like a fly. Um, this turn is the jumping jacks. Next turn, I call it the ice hops. That's just because the blue ones show up. I took a little bit of damage there that I wasn't supposed to take, and a little bit more. Well, um, yeah, I'm pretty bad. And then this should be varying hops, so it varies. We just gotta react. And then this should be platforming? Yeah, so this is the first platforming. And then this should be the second platforming one. Pretty easy. And then it should be. Okay, so I forget what I call this one. I call this one Mario Bros. Yeah, I call this one Mario Bros. because it reminds me of the old Mario Bros. multiplayer game. And then this is Through the Bones. Or them. Yeah, Through the Bones. And this one is Blaster Bros. So it's Mario Bros. but with the Gaster Blasters. And then this is Through Thin Bones. I remember this comes right after. Physics Major. Physics Major. I could teach a class. Never mind. I teach a class on why that works, though. <laughs> uh, this is Jumping Jacks. 
It's like a dog nudging his nose on the up key. That's how I always like to put it. The escalator. Which I still don't know why I call it that, but the, the name stuck. And then varying. It varies, folks. I mean, apparently you wanted to put a little jumping jack in on that. That's fine. So we get here. I want to take a shot. I'm not going to take a shot. I've already drank a lot. Alright. And just react to all of these properly. So this is warp time. And this is Gaster Blast. Aww, I got Gaster Blasted. I was not supposed to take damage anymore. Fuck. Except for through the bones and the menu. Warp time Z. I forget what this turn is. is this warp time. No, 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 no. It should be at least. It should be the bigger Gaster Blaster. So I call it Gasta Blasta when it's the bigger ones. Nope, it is Wall Press or Wall Slam. Or it's just testing your keyboard. Make sure your arrow keys to work properly. And then it's gas. No, it's the aggressive wall slam. Now I'm taking damage. Then it's Gasta Blaster. Okay. So I'm starting to remember the turn order. Then this should be uh, the bone sandwich, which is this here. Then it's warp time GT. Yep. Woo! Buddy, jumping jack, let's go. Let's go. Let's still go. All right, yeah, we're still going. <laughs> okay, I'm at 16 now. This should be the abusive wall slam that kills me. Okay. So, the thing about the abusive wall slam is that if he picks the same direction, I'm guaranteed to get hit. But I beat that. I've gotten past that. So, he might get ended right here, right freaking now. Uh, but uh, he might not because he starts off with an abusive wall slam. That's so why if he picks the same wall at this point he will get my health really, really low. And then I'm drunk, and the next part will be really, really difficult for me, uh, which is kind of going through this little maze he's going to send you through. Okay, okay. Oh, man, I, I really want to win this right here, right now. I mean, I got through like he didn't cheat me. He, he, he was like, all right. He played it fair and square. So that was just an overly aggressive wall slam, not abusive. Okay, anyway, um, I'm going to go with this. Go with this, I'm going to see this. I am ready. I am ready. Fuck you. Bone sandwich. To the right, to the right. This is where being drunk sucks, and I am getting through it. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, alright, alright. Then he presents to me the Gasta. The Gasters of Death. Mmm, I didn't even see my health go down. If I would have got through that. <sighs> Damn it. Yeah, I, do. I feel stupid. That's the easiest part, in my opinion. That's the easiest part. Losing there is like... Ah, uh, okay. Alright. Y'all hold the L. I mean, he did go easy on me. 
with the abusive wall slam. Like he, I shouldn't have got past that. I shouldn't have went into last turn with enough health to survive. So that's true. I'm ready. Jumping jacks. Mm. I mean, once you get good at jumping jacks, like. I always take a little bit of damage on the ice hops. Ooh. Okay, okay. So I can I should be able to no damage the rest of this run. And if I do that, then I am in I'm in the clear. I should just win. Well, not if the abuse is strong. It's all about how abusive he is. I always felt like this song was a, uh, a Las Vegas song. Kind of like, uh, like a casino theme with the ladies with legs dancing in the background. But then I guess they got this part here to keep in mind that, nah, this is serious business. It's not all fun and games. Your life is on the line with these slot machines. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing pretty good. Oh, jumping jacks! I did not expect you. The coach came out of nowhere. It's a jumping jacks on me. All right, but that's all right. That's all right. Um, you know, I took damage. Right. So I got to get to the last one. Yep. And then that's clean. As long as I got like over 60 health before I start losing damage, I should be in the clear. I just really should have been in the clear, but I fucked up a jumping jack. Alright, it's shot time. Every other time, Sans, every other time. Ugh. All right. Oh, wrong button. He ain't sparing me. That's funny, I don't even think about the other options <laughs> when I'm playing. Like, what is there to talk to him about? Who am I gonna check on him? I don't use items, and mercy is not even an option. Time Z. It's when Frieza shows up. Ah, I got hit there. Are you joking me? What am I, a noob? Six six no six five. All right, testing my keyboard out. The second test. Keyboard. Gasta Blaster. No, 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 buddy. Buddy. Okay, okay. We're cool. We're cool still, dude. Don't worry, don't worry. You tried to betray me real quick, but let's make a bone sandwich and forget about it. Hey, okay. What's after this? Wartime GT. Alright, I gotta put up with Baby and Omega Cinderon. <laughs> Woo! Buddy. 
and Super 17. Alright, that's fine. Okay, now you're gonna try to abuse me. Alright, okay. This is a stressful turn right here. This makes or breaks my run. Even though I'm at 46, it makes or breaks it. That last one got me. That last one got me. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. So I should still be able to get it as long as I'm smart. And I did really good last time, and I don't think I can repeat that. Like, going through the maze, man, just sounds really tough when <laughs> right about now for me. And I don't think I can repeat it, but I did it once. Let's, let's try it again. Let's try it again. Into Bone Sandwich. All right. All right, pal. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Nah, this is easy. This is easy. I see how I got it last time. Very comprehensible. One, two, three, four. Okay, this time it's the easiest part. Just control where you're at in the circle and watch how fast they're going. And there you go. He's raging. I'm going to take my shot. You can't rage lose. I didn't rage lose. Just take a shot, Sands, and, and deal with it. Sometimes, sometimes you get outplayed. Just make a bone sandwich and forget about it. And it's nothing. It's literally nothing. He says, Here's go, here goes nothing, and it's literally nothing. I took a shot for no reason. I expected to lose. I was supposed to take a shot every time I lost. Twice. And I didn't freaking lose this one. I don't think there's a way to lose from here. It's literally nothing. Yeah, this didn't even last that long. Till the end of time, capiche? This one you just uh, you go in, and then if you do this, he warps you back, so you just don't do that. Take it. Then you'll finally quit. Like, I would just quit just now, but I want to get the You're a Sick Bastard when I replay him. I don't, I think he just says, You're a real sicko, aren't you? Just because you think you can, and because you can, you have to. Yeah, being self-aware is really nice, sir, but uh, just give me my win. I don't understand how I got through the maze twice. <laughs> I don't understand why I thought it was so difficult, and then I was doing it that second time, and I was like, nah, this is not difficult, like, that maze bit. Not really difficult. Hey, just, just, bro. I always thought that he would just keep talking to you forever, and like he had like a long string of lines, and then like the point was you couldn't beat him, like this is the end. But I saw in the YouTube video how to beat him. My initial YouTube. That's actually what made me download the game, like I wasn't really going to get into Undertale at all, and then I saw that, and then I was just like, Alright, I was like, man, like, that looks intense, like, I want to be a part of that fight there, and so I downloaded the game, and I never healed, I always thought that this game is so easy, I'm not going to heal at all, and I mean, it is pretty easy in the parts that it wants to be, there is a couple of parts that, uh, that I got fucked up in, uh, 
The first part I remember is the dog. The dog that rises from the snow fucked me up, just destroyed me. I kicked everybody else's ass. Died to the freaking dog. Um, and then I died to Undying. I call her Eudine for whatever reason. I guess her name is Undying. How'd I slash this? I didn't input that shit. Somebody else killed him. We need a game theory. Where's MatPat at? We need a game theory on this. <laughs> Somebody else did it. You're not going nowhere, buddy. You need to take a couple of shots and sit down. <laughs> and then he dies off screen like you could tell he dies because you get your level up and you hear the sound effect like he so uh, he didn't make it to Grib Gribbly's that's pretty sad um yeah, I don't want to complete this at all. So I guess what I will do here is, uh, can't reset the game because then my recording will go out of whack. I'm going to try to go back and go to Gribbly's and see if he's there. <laughs> This is a waste of time. I'm pretty sure he's not there. And it's going to take me forever to get back to Gribbles. Is that what it's called? Or is it called Gilby's? Or Gerb? Well, reading something and pronouncing it's two different things for me. <laughs> Jeez, elevator. Did the game freeze? Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. I got places to go. I gotta see if this guy's there. It's in use by who? I don't know what these buildings are for. They look weird. So, like, Something about me in video games, uh, and it's most per it's most uh, noticeable for me, and like Sonic, and like the Super Ni or not Super Nintendo, the Sega Genesis Sonic games, is that I respect the background speed a lot. So for me, when I'm walking across this landscape, I see all these buildings. I go, each of those buildings has a place and a purpose. There are monsters and stuff, or you know, I guess in this universe, that inhabit all those buildings. Now, this is like a city of some sort, but the shape of these, and so I have no problem, like, if this was like a, a human society and going, like, people work, like, there are people who go to this building and that's their job, you know, and, like, creating, like, a, a reason for all of these buildings to exist, but I don't know why these buildings exist, I don't know why these, uh, things here, they just look weird, and they got the little windows that are open, like, you can just jump right out of them, like, what the freak are these buildings? I'm really curious. What was that? You can't just... Oh, I see. I'm going into this thing. I should have all the keys. I've never seen this before. I think this is only if you kill Sands in return.
but nobody came. So cool, I don't know all too well. Now you're gonna torture me. I see. So his heart was gone too, is pretty much how the plot goes. Look, Flowey, I just want to kill you. This is a part I never saw before, though. That's that's pretty cool. Why is this too useless? So he's talking to Shara, or Kara, as I left this I still don't care. I care, but I don't care. I just want to be like, it's Sands at Grizzlies. <laughs> at Grillbies. So. That's pretty much going over the notion that he played this game quite a bit and then it got boring for him. Sure, understandable. Well, sorry, mister. The only reason and I wanted to just play this game, never get to know any of them, and just do the genocide run first. And that's because I just wanted to fight Sans. That's well, my whole reason for playing this game. My $10 spent was to fight Sans. I guess I got more out of it than that, because uh, I actually did enjoy going through the other, the, uh, the other routes. I didn't enjoy the true pacifist route um and that's just because that final boss fight they don't actually let you die and i don't like that i want to refight him and refight him and refight him and get better at it but they don't let you do that and so i guess i could try to do a run where i figure out how to beat him and then i beat him without them hang like putting my heart back together
So it's another player? Well, then why can I predict you? If you're supposed to be equal to me. I guess we're not equal. Freaking flowey. And that's the failure here. I don't understand that bit. He asked, how did I get back to the ruins from here? I don't know the answer to that. And then the second figure, rather than hanging out in the basement family. But why then? What made, what made you wake up? Did you hear me calling you? That's a good point. Because at the beginning of the game, and when I first played, I never, uh... I never wanted to leave the uh, Toriel's home. I was like, well, how does the game progress if I just stay here? And I thought it would progress, but then they forced me to progress. So that's a good interesting point there. No, oh, let's have an epic boss fight. Where the fuck are you at? That's all I would want. Turn into the big flower monster. Um... We don't even need to leave. this time. Stop talking to me! You already explained everything that's interesting. Yeah, yeah, why are you telling me all this? Don't, I just want a boss fight out of you. You won't give it to me. Boss fight! Boss fight! Oh my god, I didn't heal! There's a boss. Are you see? Hells yeah, I love this shit. That's not a boss fight. That's just me killing. That's just. Well, it's not a boss fight. It's just I kill you easy. So, I'm a dumbass. I ended up back in that original room. I'm just gonna hit this to heal. Just in case Flowey wants to do something, bro. So I hit this. I go here. This is freaking dumb. I did all of that. Oh, no. No, no, no. Here we are. Here we are. This is where I want to be. Oh, man. It sounds like I could have skipped all of that. Oh, that's where you fight in e EX um, Metaton. But nobody came. Get the fuck out the way. There's nobody there. There's no encounter. I like how when you're doing a genocide run and there's like only one encounter left, you're like sitting there for ages trying to, uh, you're sitting there for ages trying to have that encounter happen, just walking around. 
And then... And then uh, once you kill that encounter, you get all of these encounters, and there's just... But nobody came. It's like, fuck off. It's like, I wish the encounter rate was that high when I was trying to do my genocide run. I don't really feel like running around killing every last creature. I just want to fight Sans. Now I just want to fight, fight Flowey. But you guys ruined it all for me. So I spent forever and a day running around here after beating Sans. I mean, that was pretty interesting, man. So now I guess I'm just going to play through the ending and then quit before the ending actually happens. I don't care about the, the actual, actual ending of all of this stuff. But... So here, dealing with Flowey wanting to fight him, he's like, you know what, I could become a big boss monster, but I'm not going to become a big boss monster. I'm just going to stay a weak little plant and get scared of you. It's like, dude, even, like, are you serious? Like, sure, with enough replays, I will be able to beat even the big flowy boss monster, but he could have at least spared himself in this reality. He could have at least had a reality where he won, if he tried something. Mm. <gasps> Asgore is one of my favorite characters, though. He is one of my favorites. So, if you want to go... I always thought of this game as, like, what if it was a fighting game? And I would say I would main Undying. Like, Undying would be like Marth to me. And then Sans would be my uh, my secondary that's really good and strong. And if I wanted to win, I'd play him. And then Asgore would be like my third, my third character that I would like to play and would enjoy playing. What kind of monster are you? <laughs> Sorry, I cannot tell. Well, we can always... No, no. There's no need to fight. Why not settle this over a nice cup of tea? Why don't you... You should have fought, dude. It would have been great. It would have been awesome. Well, I guess it wouldn't have been awesome. I would have just one-shotted you about like that. And then Flowey shows up, kills him, and he is like, Look! I'm on your side! And then you're like, fuck you, you're not on my side, because I, I don't got a side. And then that's pretty much the story. Uh, oh. oh, yeah, that's exactly what's happening here. I guess I remembered it. Look, I didn't input the slash. I didn't input the slash, but I guess that once you're, uh, once you've gained the experience, that, uh, but then, even if Flowey went big boss mode, like, it wouldn't, uh, he, you would still one-shot him. I should have one-shotted him. I did one input, and it wasn't even to slash him. I'm Kevin. Oh my god, this is creepy. Thank you. Your power awakened me from death. Oh, my soul. My determination. They were not mine, but yours. Yay.
What the freak ever, Miss Carter? If you were a boss, I'd kill your ass too. <laughs> Do that quick. We're on the same team. And I beat you at level one. Don't pretend like I care about those stats. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that if you do hit do not, you get a jump scare. But I don't know what happens if you hit erase. So I'm pretty sure if you hit e But I know that if you hit erase, that probably just resets your game. Look, Kara. I don't want to pronounce it, not right. Alright, let me think it over over a couple of shots. Doesn't matter, I could just uh, use Flowey's time machine to reset it anyway. But if the erase gives me a jump scare anyway, then I want to go with that one. I want to go with the jump scare for Halloween's sake. Just see how scared I get. <laughs> like Flowey? No, it's not Flowey. It's Car. You're lucky you're in the universe of this game. Like. You would be nothing to fear if I could fight you. No. Hold on, let me take this shot real quick before you go all ham. I'm just guaranteeing the jump scare. That's not a... So that was a slash inflicted upon me that dealt super nines of damage. And then it just ends. Just crashes my game. She disagreed with me. Well, she's freaking... Well, I guess that's the boss fight. You just don't get the fighting. <laughs> Look, if I could get my frisk from a previous playthrough, my frisk would kick that ass, is all I'm saying. <laughs> uh, but alright, I guess I'm done here, and uh, I could try to reload it, but I'm pretty sure that this capture device would not auto-lock its, uh, its thing you can bob onto it. And so, I am just going to go ahead and end this here. And I will see you all next time.